everybody is calm nobody is rushing nobody is in a hurry she was like why do you keep bending when you see people I was not like, ah, I'm reduced the price. Like, I was trying to tell the guy, like, I won't buy it for that price. And then my host was like, no, no, that's actually the price here. I was like, Air Force. I remember him saying, ah, so no market today, I'll be. And then we were like, what do you mean by no market? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah Kela. I'm a Nigerian based YouTuber and I make beauty, lifestyle, and business related videos. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. You're a real one and I love you. <laughs> so I recently traveled and I went to Ghana and I spent a total of three and a half weeks there yeah so at first when i went i only booked my ticket for about a week and then i was really having a good time so i extended it to two weeks and then i <laughs> was really having a good time and then i extended it again to three and a half weeks so that says really says a lot about like my journey there it just tells you how much i enjoy myself so i've been dropping a couple of vlogs about my experiences in ghana and just how it has been so if you haven't seen that i have a whole place playlist so you should go and check that out and as you can see i'm wearing this which i got from ghana i have to represent yeah <laughs> i'm going to be listing some culture shocks that i experienced in ghana this doesn't mean that they were bad it, it just means that these were things that i experienced differently things that i wasn't used to that i experienced in ghana so when i went to ghana at first I, I really wanted to experience like a different culture so um i didn't just go there like for vacation for resting or anything that was part of it but then i really just wanted to experience the culture and just learn more about it and i feel like i did to an extent but i feel like there's so much more that i could have experienced but or i gave myself little time so hopefully it's definitely somewhere i would want to go back to in case you don't know i'm nigerian so the first thing okay this wasn't really a culture shock but this is just something i noticed at first is that everybody is nice everybody is calm nobody is rushing nobody is in a hurry everybody is just calm everybody is nice even when it comes to their driving i didn't experience any kind of like reckless driving or anybody like driving anyhow it's not really like that here for us so i realized that a lot of people are nice a lot of people are calm like even things you say sorry to people for like it's just like oh that's not a big deal it's calm everybody is nice nobody is angry yeah Nigerians were angry like as much as we might not want to accept it but we're quite aggressive and angry like even me but I am sometimes yeah so the second thing I noticed is that I would say they are disrespectful no it's not disrespectful Ghanaians have a different way of respect yes yeah, showing respect i met a couple of elderly people and for me i'm just used to it i feel like most nigerians are used to it or in every young nigerian is used to it when we're greeting we usually like squats not necessarily squats like we just bend like to greet somebody older than you like if um, like times i met like parents of my friends like i'll normally bend down to greet or when i see elderly people i just bend down to greet it's just something that is in me and then i remember the person that was around a lot that time she was like why do you keep bending when you see people i'm like i don't understand she was like you keep doing this why are you doing that i'm like oh that's how we greet like that's how we greet older people not today, like normal people not like your age mates or anything she was like is that why you kept bending i was like yes yeah. i was like don't you people like bend to greet and i don't think respect is like a big deal like that bending down to greet your like elders is not really a big deal so like if you're going to ghana you don't need to don't worry you don't need to you can just greet them you can greet them normally like good morning good i even noticed some people were saying hi to like the person i was working with she would say hi to older people hi <laughs> Hmm. like that was very that was very different for me i see a lot of videos talking about how african parents african african parents this but i feel like it's not all african parents like the next thing i noticed this was like one of the first things i noticed is that like they have a lot of small cars like apart from they have a couple of private like private owned cars like you can find big and spacious cars most of their taxis and most of their ubers are quite small like they're usually very very small which i found a bit weird small like they're small and if you're claustrophobic is yeah <laughs> the next thing i noticed is that they don't open their like stores really especially like their convenience stores um i don't know about other stores but i noticed that they don't open their convenience stores like early and they close 
early too. When they open it very late and then they close it really early. When I was there for the first time, for the first day I landed, I landed really late, like 12 a.m. in the morning. So like I couldn't get water or anything. I was out in the morning and I stepped down to go and get something. And everywhere was closed. It was like everybody was still sleeping. I was like, what's going on? Is it that you people wake up by? <laughs> 12 8, 12 p.m. or whatever but yeah it was still quiet everywhere was still quiet and but normally in Nigeria like people are out for work by six seven well depending on the part of Nigeria you live but all the parts I've lived like by 7 a.m. all convenience stores are already open because like people go to work so some people need to get people go to work earlier than that sometimes so some people need to get stuff from that shop except you're not a serious business person <laughs> The next thing I not noticed is that their hustle spirit is kind of different from ours in Nigeria. From the few times I went to the market, I only went to the market like two times. When like you invite somebody to your shop, hey, come and buy this buyer road. I'm saying, I'm saying this buyer, come and buy. If the person is just like, oh no, they're just like, oh, okay. And just allow you like nobody usually tell you come and buy it. like nigerians will make even if you don't want to buy it like they will make you want to buy it and i feel like that's not a bad thing like every place just has like a different hustle spirit i don't know there's just a way you can tell that people are actually like hustling which is not a bad thing it was just different for me thing I noticed which is kind of weird is that okay I won't say Ghana generally but Accra is very quiet yes it's very quiet like it it was quiet in a weird way I've lived in China I've lived in Nigeria and I was in Accra for a while so like other places are not that quiet it was just quiet in a weird way like even during the daytime you're not hearing like cars blowing their horns you're not hearing generator sounds nothing it was just quiet and it was kind of weird like i don't know how to explain it was like i was expecting to hear even one time like i went to somewhere to even my friend and there were a lot of people there but it was still quiet okay there was music playing calm music in the background but it was like everybody was whispering i was like this is so weird i was telling my friend i was like why are you not talking why is everywhere quiet <laughs> And yeah, like I just found that weird, but it was in a good way. Regardless, in the parts that I stayed, it wasn't very, it was quiet, but then like one sound that I kept hearing was the sound of planes passing. I kept on hearing planes passing. Please pass in. I know I was staying close to the airport. Yeah, another thing I found weird, I didn't, I didn't put this among my list, but I need to say it, is that um, the airport like, is close to town in Ghana, which I found very weird. Like I've been to like five different countries and I haven't seen a country that like the airport is like in town or is like close to town. Like, every country, like the airport is usually far from town. Like you need to drive for like 30 minutes to an hour before you get to the airport. But then if you live close to the airport, those are like the, I don't know if you say bougie places, like anywhere that's close to the airport. When you see um, people like advertising Airbnbs and all of that, they usually like, oh, this place is close to the airport and yeah I found that kind of weird but yeah not in a bad way Accra is a bit expensive like as compared to like Nigeria the cost of living there is quite high yeah it's a bit high like you would get in Naira I'm just going to give prices in Naira like you would get like street food like food that you buy on the street and when you convert it you get it for like 3,000, 2,000 Naira and I'm like I don't know any street food that you get in Nigeria for like 2,000, 3,000 Naira but it's just like the normal there but it just makes sense that because our currency is quite low our currency is quite bad so it just makes sense that's that i remember going to the market with my host um i went to get a sponge and this was in the market like proper market not supermarket or mall or anything it was like a super proper market and the cost of the um sponge was like in there it was like 2500 naira i was not like ah, i'm reduce the price like i was trying to tell the guy like i won't buy it for that price and then my house was like no no that's actually the price here i was like air for sponge like, sponge like that same kind of sponge is like 500 naira or less in nigeria if you're like staying in like expensive parts of nigeria in like normal parts of nigeria you get for like 300 200 naira and i bought sponge for two five <laughs> I was like, okay, 
how much will it be in a mall then like how much will it be in like 5k in the mall or something i just found that kind of weird this, these are just like little examples but yeah the cost of living is like higher than nigeria i don't know about other parts of um ghana but like for accra yeah it was quite expensive i don't know if this is like a normal thing but like they announce they announce debts like they announce it a lot i think i'll find a video because like there was a place i made a recording they they like to i don't know what to say they like to announce debts but like you find a whole lot of like death announcement stickers posters and i found that kind of, like we make those here in nigeria but like not everybody makes it even like maybe you just put it around like the area where the person died but you go to like the market and like see there was this market i went to and i saw like so many death posters and i was like wow the announcement is is a lot <laughs> yeah i found that kind of weird so this is that Ghanaian police are kind i don't need to say kind or nice or what but like their police they don't harass like typical nigerian police i remember a time me and my friend went out i found out on like annoying okay this policeman told us to drop and he searched our bags he made us like empty our bags he was searching for condoms because he thought rude anyway yeah he was he was looking for he was just checking our bag i don't know what he was looking for drugs or what but he didn't find anything and i remember my friend like raising her voice like why would you he was he said like some offensive things i remember him saying ah so no market today i'll be and then we were like what do you mean by no market like i remember when we rose our voice at him like he started apologizing and we're like no it's not like that blah, blah. but a typical nigerian policeman would, t would say you are shouting at me i'm taking you to the station like <laughs> with nigerian policemen you just have to be like calm sometimes just so they don't escalate things but sometimes you need to show them your crease yeah like they were softer they weren't as like harsh as normal nigerian police ghana is very similar to nigeria i believe it or not but it's very very similar it's just that like ghanians are just like calm nigerians or like toned down nigerians yeah i feel like that's how to explain it they're just not as hyped as loud yeah as nigerians generally no offense like i'm also in nigerian and yes i'm loud i'm aggressive i'm whatever yeah i'm just saying it how i saw it the next thing i noticed was about their food yeah, lots of, i've seen a lot of nigerians call nigerian food soggy soggy jollof rice soggy whatever but yeah like it's just we're just we're just all different honestly like all our foods can't be the same like believe it or not they just can't be the same and yeah like one thing i noticed was that like their rice is kind of like hard like cooked rice is harder than our own it's not as soft as you get our own and their food is not so spicy and that was like a problem i had like i, I don't know if it's just like where it's from because i but i feel like i ate from like a couple of places their food is quite mild like they don't season it a lot and they don't spice it a lot maybe it's just like i'm just like a typical nigerian but i like my food spicy like i don't i want my food to have some sort of spice and what i consider is as like just little spice i want to eat and be not literally <laughs> but i just want to like feel that spice and what i consider as that i have some friends like that are from the southern part of africa in china that, that have eaten that same food and it's just like this is too much pepper for me i feel like their food is not like as spicy as our own if you're somebody that likes spicy food or you want your food to have like some sort of spice that would be different for you and for the peaceful part i feel like to be in nigeria you just need a little just a little bit of crazy in you if not you'll be taking feed yet <laughs> so even if you're visiting nigeria this just to tell you like sometimes the first the moment i stepped my foot in nigeria in lagos nigeria I fought with somebody yeah if you're on my snapchat you probably know this because they were trying to charge me for something that you weren't even supposed to charge me for so yeah if you're on my snapchat i probably know like if i and for that i got i was supposed to pay long story short sha i didn't pay it and that saved me like me showing my craze of being crazy being loud saved me from paying fifty thousand naira yeah but the people that were calm cool collected they wasted their 50k for something they weren't even supposed to pay for and those people were 
Ghanaians and I felt so bad for them I wish I could just like I didn't know what was going on because they were in front of me like if I had known I would have come in for them but like they had to pay that 50-50,000 naira each of them and there were four of them like crazy anyway we've come to the end of this video in conclusion if you're thinking of visiting Accra, Ghana, like you should, you should. Don't not just Accra, Ghana. There are different parts of Ghana. I also visited Takara D. Um, I know there's Kumasi. There, there are different places you, sh you should visit. But like my stay there was good. I really enjoyed myself. That's somewhere I look forward to going to visit again. I feel like that's somewhere I can leave. Yeah, I feel like that's somewhere I can leave. Who knows? Maybe one day. If you see that I've moved to Accra, Ghana, don't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, but. I know a couple of people, but you are tired of us, Nigerians. Sorry, yo. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there are reasons for like this culture shocks I explained, maybe I just don't understand it or understand why it's like that, please comment below. Like, I'm so interested in knowing why certain things are the way they are. If you like to see more videos like this, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Medasi. Aquaba, but that's just thank you. Aquaba is welcome. Yeah. Like me, my name is Ifia. Because I was born on a Friday. I like that. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Hey. Yeah.